Namaskar and good afternoon, everybody. His Excellency, Honorable Vice President of India, Shri Hamid Ansari, Honorable Minister for Higher and Technical Education, Government of Maharashtra, respected Shri Vinod Ji Taude, one of the exquisite expression of writing that we are going to witness today in terms of its release and the writer of which who is also president of ORF Honorable Shri Sudhindra Kulkarni President of Anjuman Islam group of organizations Honorable Dr. Zahir Ghazi sir the vice president of ORF Shri Dhawal Desai. The book which is going to be released, the publisher of whom is very eminent publisher, Honorable Shri Shobit Arya. Respected diplomats, delegates, my senior colleagues from the university and also from affiliated institutions of the university, the officials of the government of Maharashtra, the office of the Honorable Chancellor, the officials of Police Department, respected citizens of the city of Mumbai. On behalf of the University of Mumbai and on my personal behalf, I welcome all of you for this historic function of release of a book which will be highlighting the speeches of some of the eminent freedom fighters who thought of and visualized the freedom struggle of the in country like India and what they said during the time of our independence. If you ask me about what would be the scenario if India got independence 100 years back, presuming the same standard of governance and economic growth, India would have an educational level at 95% and above, a 85% middle class population, a better female to male ratio, reduction in mother and child mortality, better improved social facilities to a level equal to present Western countries. These indicators would stand if there were no major wars, natural disasters or civil wars. The question, however, is how far we have reached from or close to what we should be the founding concept of India as visualized by our freedom fighters. I think all of us Indians generally understand what the concept of India implies. How close are we to this concept? How have we done as a people, as a nation, in keeping along the lines of dream of India as dreamt by the generation of pre-independence period. We proclaim, celebrate the unity of India. Is it a fact of transcending significance? But it is not also a fact that we are imprisoned by the narrow domestic walls of religion, language, caste and region, blocking out the clear view of resurgent nation. Respected delegates, Despite all this, in the field of education, the nation has much to be proud of. Access to education has been widened immeasurably. Indian scholars are in the front rank of creating endeavor in the best institutions across the world. The future of India lies in education. The India of future is growing in our schools and universities. Respected delegates, Mumbai University was established in 1857 and this is the 160th year of excellence of University of Mumbai and we are proud to say that we have been able to imbibe among our students experiment and innovation, independence and integrity and a new integration between modern science and our heritage to be able to get our university to take off to a take off point by becoming the only university in the country to have generated over 600 crores of rupees for its infrastructure development 
within the last 17 months for its sustainable growth by aligning ourselves with nation's agenda of digital skill and make in India. Dear delegates, we are very fortunate to have a visionary chancellor in His Excellency Shri Vidya Sagar Rao and an outstanding leader such as our Honorable Chief Minister Devendra Fadnavis and his Council of Ministers, particularly Honorable Shri Vinodji Tavde and Honorable Shri Ravindraji Vaikar, which together hold portfolios of higher and technical education. And I'm sure with their continued support, the university would contribute to the future agenda of our mother India in achieving ecological security, economic efficiency, and social equity. I once again welcome all of you to this historic occasion. Thank you very much for your kind attention. Jai Hind.